Reset is comprised entirely of students with a passion for space exploration technologies. The team aims to inspire student experience by providing an environment where students can develop industry transferable skills through hands-on experience. Additionally, QSET offers students with numerous growth opportunities by allowing them to work on open-ended projects and interact with industry professionals. Currently, QSET has about 60 members, nine of which make up the executive team. For the rover project, the team is broken down to the mechanical, electrical, and science teams. Additionally, many students assist with the logistical and financial operations on the team. This year, the mechanical team focused on improving several aspects of our previous year's design. The chassis will remain similar to previous years as the aluminum extrusion provides a light and durable frame. It also allows us to modify and attach other components together easily. The wheels have been redesigned to provide an in-wheel suspension with the use of flexible hoops inside the wheel. The outer rim is made out of aluminum to provide a rigid outer body while the inner hoops are made out of a carbon fiber and a negro weave to make them flexible, durable and light. The inner hoops and a new needle bearing provide support to the motor hubs. These new wheels allow us to add better treads to improve traction while driving. The arm has been completely redesigned with the goal of reducing the weight and making it more versatile for competition. Our new design is fully belt driven from the base to keep the weight off the end. It was designed to support a 5 kg payload and to provide a greater range of motion around the rover. The arm is able to fully retract back to keep the center of mass low, making it easier to drive during the combined astronaut assistance and terrain traversal task. The team used laser cut acrylic to make quick and affordable prototypes for the arm, while the final version will be made out of aluminum. This year, QSET's electrical team has focused on redesigning all of the control systems on the rover. The rover is driven through an HTML5 web server which allows multiple concurrent users. The server connects to the Raspberry Pi and Slave Arduino over a wireless bridge. To improve the rover's wheel control, we've employed a high-speed encoder reader which provides real-time feedback. With this feedback, we now have precise wheel control, resulting in much finer steering. Similarly, the newly designed arm employs high-precision absolute motor encoders to measure the arm precision precisely. This new precise control is part of our three-pronged approach to meet the new challenges presented by the autonomous task. Feedback, precise control, and advanced sensing capabilities will make our rover capable of handling any issues that may come up during the autonomous challenge. During the task, our new LiDAR sensor will detect objects, allowing us to perform preemptive course corrections. This sensor, coupled with the new control system, will allow us to accurately navigate any obstacles that the rover might encounter during the task. Once close, the rover will switch from GPS to computer vision. Using OpenCV, the Pi camera mounted to the mast will detect the tennis ball markers and use this information to complete the autonomous task. Furthermore, when not driving in autonomous mode, the rover has been optimized for user control. The rover can now swap between camera feeds in under a second. This affords the driver the best viewing angle for precise control. Similarly, a control system for the arm is under development. The system employs the new absolute motor encoders on the arm to create a more intuitive control system based on continuous joystick input. The science team has been focused on improving our designs from our success at URC in 2016. We have built upon our past research on the geology of Utah and Mars, as well as recent discoveries and past Mars missions. This year, our rover contains a suite of sensors to characterize the local geology and environment. This includes an anemometer and atmospheric sensors for temperature, pressure, and humidity. We have also added dust and solar radiance measurements, which provide crucial data for rover operation. A probe on the arm measures moisture, subsurface temperature, conductivity, dielectric permittivity, and volumetric water content of the soil for use in assessing bulk properties and composition. Our sample storage system is an improvement upon last year using a shovel end effector to reach the collection depth and then storing the sample in our rotating carousel. The sample will be tested for signs of life, which include lipids, proteins, and sugars, as these are commonly found in Earth biology. Indicator strips will be used to measure key polyatomics, such as carbonates, nitrates, and phosphates, which provide information on formation conditions and the geochemical activity of the soil. QSET is excited to make its fourth appearance at the University Rover Challenge, coming off of 2016, our best year today. With the many additions to the mechanical, electrical, and scientific aspects of the rover, we hope to continue improving our standings at the competition.